So thank you for coming to visit me for another shave. Today's shave is brought to you by uh, Strike Gold's Old Hickory. We have the matching aftershave. These are one of my uh, Christmas present shaves or soaps. Our lathering instrument is a Samoke uh, 1305. It says Excelsior on the front there. I've had this one for, for quite a while and it's still well, it's it's got a lot of backbone. Let's just put it that way. And today's razor is uh, not often used. Uh, easy aces. I have two of them. One is uh, one has got the metal in here, and this one is just embossed. I don't know if I, you can see it or not. It's easy aces. And I've already got the soap lathered. The lather is pretty easy, and it's got. It got a nice sheen to it. I'm gonna float the uh, float the my lather bowl in the hot warm water there to warm it up a little bit. I've got some of the proto lather on here just to kind of get things started. This has been a this is Wednesday already. I think it's Wednesday middle of the week I haven't got squat done I spent the better part of yesterday working on my laptop to pay my bills a lot of my uh, accounts I pay online they had, had insisted that I change my passwords well I had a password manager installed along with my antivirus, so it's a Trend Micro password manager. Well, it started messing up and said it wasn't available. This this uh, this service is not available. Please try again later. So I called their uh, support line, and I was on with that poor girl. For three and a half hours trying to get that thing running. She had uninstalled it and reinstalled it and did upgrades to my windows. And she optimized the drive. She did everything she could think of. So finally it started to give it along, but I lost all my passwords, so I ended up changing everything anyway. So I'm all computered up, but my bills are paid. This doesn't count as bill as computing because I'm using the iPad. Um, these Easy Aces uh, were made by Gen Genco, probably in the 40s. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if Easy Aces means anything, other than the rad uh, there's a radio program that was real popular about that time. you can hear it is a very vocal razor Anyway, this thing uh, did 50, 50 passes on fire hose and then 50 more on leather. Oops. I topped off a angry follicle. I'm trying to get a zit right here on the end of my nose. I'm not exactly sure why that is.
maybe I'm entering a second puberty and I'll get more facial hair so I can shave more. Doing a few shades with the straights just to keep my touch skills going. I don't think I lost too much in the way of technique. It seems to be working okay. Let me pull that bowl out of the warm water and see if that made any difference. With well, it broke down the lather a little bit. Let me work on that a little bit. To save you guys the tedium of just watching me shave for a couple shaves. I'm going to speed this up a little bit like this. James, I'm going to speed this up a little bit like this.
And that's it. Three uh, three passes. I'm gonna clean up here. I did enjoy the fragrance of the. This is old hickory. It's uh, lightly floral. It's got a good cushion. As you can see, I didn't have any trouble with uh, having any dragging. I had good and a good uh, slick surface. I got darn fine shave in three passes. I'm going to finish cleaning up. I'll be right back with some post shave thoughts. Thank you for waiting. Had three uh, very nice passes. I ended up with a darn fine shave. We'll be using uh, Strike Gold Old Hickory. We'll be using the matching aftershave. Figure I'll apply something while you guys are watching. It's got a real small restrictor on here, so. And we got to really want to kind of dance with it to get the juice to come out. But it smells real nice. I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of uh, Barrister and Man's 42 a little bit. But I, I know that it's not a pure floral like that. But still it did. Uh, our lathering instrument was a Samoog 1305. Mm -hmm. a, uh, it's a bore bristle. As you can see, it's blooming out real good. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. And our cutting instrument today was a Genko Easy Aces. I don't know if you can date it from the uh, presence or lack of the uh, metal in this embossing. But it did a pretty good job. I noticed it grabbed me at the tip a little bit. And I can see that it's got just a little bit of a hook right there on the top. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blunt the very tip of it on the uh, mirror here. So that it, if it does catch me, it's not going to rip. And I think that might have been what happened right here. I'm not sure. But I'll have to go back and look at the film. But we'll see how that goes. Uh... Thanks for coming again. I'm Major Rich, and you'll find me on the Shaving Cadre. If you're seeing me on Facebook, or not, not Facebook, YouTube, like and subscribe, and please do come visit at the Shaving Cadre. We're a great bunch of guys, and we're still growing. I think it's a, it's a great thing. Uh, thanks for being here, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.